Welcome to EH141 Oral Communications for Spring 2022. My name is Kelly Lloyd. Uh, for those of you who have had me before in class, welcome back. Um, it's good to see you guys again. For those of you that are new, uh, welcome to the course. And I look forward to getting to know you over the course of the semester. I wanted to take a couple of minutes uh, and show you kind of a course overview, where to locate all of your information, um, and help you get started uh, with the course it's very um, kind of a self-paced as far as instructional content goes um, but if you make the commitment and you follow the course schedule um, you should have no issues whatsoever staying caught up in the course we are uh, this is all online there will be no kind of teams meetings or anything like that and like how does that work with a speech class but it, I promise it does work out and I will show you how that's going to work over the course of the semester. So uh, when you log in, this is what you should see uh, for your home page. Up at the top uh, left hand corner, you should see uh, modules. And that will take you to um, the four um, shells for um, the content for the course. At the top here, this is that orientation and student support that's found in every uh, JSU Canvas class. Um, so those are just kind of like JSU University policies, academic support, that kind of thing. If you've never taken an online class before, you might want to familiarize yourself with that module. But for the purposes of our course, um, these four modules that are listed here are the places where you're going to go to find your content. I'm going to start here in course overview and schedule. When you open this up, at the top it will uh, have a link to the spring syllabus um, and that's just the university, uh, we have to provide that syllabus, um, it's a standard university syllabus, it just kind of talks about um, academic honesty and, and that kind of thing. Um, I, I really don't focus too much on the syllabus because I kind of make my own schedule and agenda and that kind of thing, but it's there for you if you want to print that. Um, down below here you have uh, a day-by-day a -day of activities that you are going to um, want to follow. It's listed for you by date. It tells you what the activity is um, and then the thing that you should be doing every day. And then if there's anything due in that final column, you'll notice that each one of those is hyperlinked to assignments and where you can turn things in. Um, I do have a printable copy of that. Uh, schedule for you if you uh, like to have things in front of you you uh, you can print that um, agenda uh, so that you can have it in your notebook um, heading back over here I wanted to um, just point out just a couple of things I'm a stickler for due date so please be mindful of those assignments have to be submitted uh, by 11:59 p.m. on the due date an exception to that is quizzes and We'll talk about that in just a few minutes. Any work that's submitted past that point, past that 11.59 p.m. due date, will incur a penalty of 10% per day late. Um, there are assignments that you can submit early, like you can work on ahead of time, but quizzes and speeches have to be submitted as scheduled, okay? Um, if you are on campus here with me at Pleasant Valley, your quizzes have to be scheduled to be taken in person. Um, so you have to, on the scheduled day, so you may um, a set aside a time at some point to take your quizzes with me on campus. Um, I have access during third period, my planning period is seventh period. These quizzes are really short. They should take you no longer than seven to ten minutes to complete. Um, if you do not show up to take a quiz, I will count that as a um, a zero. Uh, so you need to be mindful of that. If you're an online student, when you're ready to take a quiz, you're going to contact me to get your online code to unlock. You can text me. I gave you um, my number uh, in uh, that email, that initial email that I sent you. And you have to start the quiz within five minutes of receiving your code. I'll unlock it for you. You'll log in. You'll put in your code. You'll take the quiz. And then um, that just kind of keeps uh, everybody honest and whatnot. You shouldn't need uh, to have to rely on anything uh, to take these quizzes if you are doing what you're supposed to be doing anyway. But that's just the way that we kind of keep everybody honest. 
Um, so all of your resources are going to be located in individual modules. I'm going to show you where to find all of those in just a moment. And then I hyperlinked all those assignments as well so that you can submit assignments here for, um, from that homepage. So you can work from that homepage quite frequently. All right, so let's start with the first set of um, kind of assignments. So this course is broken down into um, several sections. You have six lectures, which are each uh, have their own quiz attached to them. That's for points that you will earn. Uh, those lectures are all of the um, all of the things that I kind of find that are really important in um, in speech, uh, oral communications. Uh, body language, verbal and nonverbal communications, um, things that you, that I really feel like you need to know to be a successful public speaker. And so I've broken that down into a series of screen tasks for you um, where I kind of go through those, um, those skill sets. Um, each one of those lectures, the screen tasks, um, have their own set of lecture notes that you can download and open to kind of follow along as I'm going through um, the, um, as I'm going through the lecture, I'm just gonna kind of open one so you can see like this first lecture is characteristics of effective delivery. You'll notice that anytime I feel like a term is important, I'm gonna use bold so that it's bold um, for you in the text. Um, those are things that you need to remember. Those bolded terms are the terms that you're going to be tested on in your quizzes. So those bold terms are important. Uh, this first quiz is all about your body language, um, delivery, conversational style, the use of your body, all those things in that first lecture. So those notes are there for you here. And then you also have um, a graphic organizer. This might be something that you want to print out to kind of keep track of your um, lecture notes. Um, it'll help you study for your quizzes um, and you can fill in the blanks um, as we go along in the lecture. It's just a really good study guide for you. Um, and then you'll have a quiz on each one of those lectures uh, and those will pop up when it gets closer to quiz time. But those are all linked for you on that remember that course overview that schedule it'll tell you when you need to be viewing the, the lecture um, and then also when you need to take the quiz so all that information is linked for you there so that's there's six of those then you have six um, TED talk assignments so I think that one of the best ways to become a better public speaker is to study moves that good speakers make you know in 101 and 102 we studied the moves that good writers make and so now we're going to talk about what moves good speakers make and so I've chosen six TED Talks that I feel that the speaker kind of possesses those uh, qualities of um, good public speakers, good body posture, good use of um, media, strategic use of media, those kinds of things. And so what you're going to do um, for this particular assignment is you're going to be doing an analysis of uh, those TED Talks. So those are, there are six of those assignments. Each activity consists of two parts. The first part is a reflection question on the speech itself. Um, again, that's something that you may want to print so that you can um, do that. Or you can annotate with Kami. I don't know uh, if you are familiar with Kami, but Kami allows you to, it's an extension that you can add to a Chrome browser that will allow you to type on a PDF. Or you can print the PDF, fill it out with a pen or um, a a pen or a pencil and then you can take a screenshot of that activity and upload it for your assignment. So the first part is just kind of like comprehension as you're reading or as you're viewing the lecture you're filling out the uh, information for the um, for that comprehension part of the lecture and then on the back side um, or the bottom the second page there is a rating scale on the speech factors that make a good public speaker and these are all the things that you're going to be learning about in your lectures and so as you're kind of viewing these TED Talks you're going to kind of see some of the stuff in action so what you're going to be doing for this part of the TED Talk is uh, rating them as effective or ineffective on that particular um, 
uh, concept and then justifying that rating in the blank uh, on this last column. So do they have a good conversational style? Do you think it's ineffective or effective? And then why do you say so? If you feel like um, maybe they're not conversational enough with their audience, then that's what you're gonna rate uh, your reasoning in your, um, in your justification, okay? So there are six of those and they're linked for you here, as well as the due dates and a link to turn those assignments in. And again, you can print them and fill them out um, and then take pictures of them and upload them to get your points. Or you can uh, annotate with Kami and save it as a PDF and then turn it in in that, in that way. So six lectures, six TED Talks, and then you have um, five speeches and I'm going to show you where to find those. Those are down here at that bottom module. So each one of your speeches that you will be coming across is linked for you here. This will give you the speech prompt. Uh, these instructions will give you um, what you need uh, step by step of how to prepare for your speech how to um, create an outline for your speech so you can help stay on track. I've even given you an example of each type of speech um, for you there. And then um, I also have the rubrics for you here. You can take a look at what I'm gonna be grading you on for each one of those rubrics. And then a place for you to turn in each one of those speeches as, the, as it's listed in the agenda that you had on that course schedule page. Um, down here at the very bottom, there's a place for you to record your, uh, to teach you a little bit about recording your speeches. You know, Kaltura is Canvas's kind of recording tool. You can use Kaltura um, and become comfortable with it. I have always used Screencast-O-Matic for my screencast. Um, it records up to 15 minutes for free. It's easy to work with. You can download it and upload it that way. Or you can always just use video on your phone. Um, I think a lot of my kids in the past have felt really comfortable. They, you know, they make videos all the time, so they feel really comfortable using uh, video and uploading it that way um, as a video um, that way. So those are things that you um, can think about when you're, you're getting ready to do your speeches. The first speech you do not have a prompt for. When you get ready to do your impromptu speech, um, it's impromptu for a reason. Uh, it means that I don't want you to have a lot of time to think about it. Basically what it is, it's just a baseline for me to kind of see where you are with your skills and I'll rate you and give you some feedback on that and, and let you know what the things that you need to work on. So it's kind of like our introductory speech to kind of give you some baseline for what you need to do in the, um, in the, in the course, over the course, what you need to work on. So when you get ready to do your impromptu speech, uh, which is scheduled for, I believe, hold on, I think it's, uh, next week, next Tuesday. Let me take a look really quick. When you get ready to do your um, impromptu speech, yeah, it's next Tuesday the 18th. When you get ready to do your impromptu speech, you will text me um, a uh, to get your prompt, and I will give you your prompt. You will then turn right around and record without any preparation. You'll record that first speech based on the topic that I've given you, and I'll give you um, some instructions on that. I'll probably drop you an email over the weekend just to give you kind of further instructions on how to set that up um, and what that's going to be like. That will be the only one that you do not really prepare for. Uh, all the other ones you have plenty of time to kind of prepare and, and get your kind of thoughts together, um, make preparations, do your um, outlines and that kind of thing. So um, that is uh, the only kind of exception to that rule. Okay, so I've kind of briefly just kind of run through everything. Hopefully um, you uh, can get on here and you can figure out, out how everything works. Um, and make sure that you're paying attention to that agenda, following that agenda um, each week uh, so that you can stay on top of those things that are due. And as always, if you have any questions or concerns, you need to just email me or text me and I'll be glad to, um, to help you. Good luck and I can't wait to hear what you guys come up with.